Hello everyone and welcome to another Lore and Stories video. If you're new here, my name is Cindy and I tell stories in The Sims and help you improve your gameplay. Today, we're getting spooky in The Sims 2 and I'm telling you the story of the Witches of Belladonna Cove. Belladonna Cove is the neighborhood that was introduced with the last Sims 2 expansion pack, Apartment Life. This is also the expansion pack that introduced magic and witches to the game. The neighborhood is named after the highly poisonous plant, also known as Deadly Nightshade, that was allegedly used by witches throughout history. There's one household in Belladonna Cove that has a magical secret, and that is the Cordial household. In this large house at 218 Bayview Drive, two sisters reside. Samantha and Kimberly Cordial live here, and their purpose in the game is to teach the player about the new magic system. Both twins have befriended a witch in the neighborhood, one of light and one of darkness. Samantha is the nice twin who made friends with a good witch, Phoebe Adams. Her sister Kimberly, on the other hand, is considered the mean twin, and she has made friends with the evil witch, Frances McCulloch. McCulloch? McCulloch? McCullough? How do you say that? I'm just gonna call her Frances. One thing about this family that might be obvious to those of you who are familiar with The Sims 2 lore is how the twin sisters appear to be parodies of the Pleasant twin sisters from Pleasant View. Some people think they may even be the twins after they've grown up and changed their name, dyed their hair, and moved to Belladonna Cove. I'll admit that's a bit of a stretch for me, but there are several clues that lead people to believe this. From looking at the family photographs, we can tell that the sisters had a sibling rivalry as teenagers, and they have opposite personalities with one being the good twin and the other being the bad twin. The floor plan of the home is almost identical to the pleasant home in Pleasant View. The kitchen and dining room and back door are in exactly the same place. This entryway is the same. The living room is the same. There are some differences such as this room here and this room over here is no longer a bedroom. And if we go upstairs, we can see that the shape of the bathroom and bedrooms are exactly the same as in the Pleasant House. The only difference is that these rooms actually have closets since this is apartment life and we now have closets in the game. But otherwise, it is very, very similar to the Pleasant House. If we look at the girls' family tree, we can see that the names and appearances of their ancestors are very similar to the names and appearances of the Pleasant ancestors. We have Jeffrey and Artemis Cordial. We have Sage and Coralia Passe. And then we have Danny and Barbara Cordial, who are their parents, instead of Daniel and Mary Sue. And the family bio also gives us a clue. Samantha and Kimberly had such bad sibling rivalry, they were asked to leave the pleasant little town in which they had grown. Realizing that things between them needed to change, they pursued a variety of self-help ventures. While trying to find new ways to bond with each other, they made some mysterious new friends. Will calling on the power of their newfound friends bind them closer together or pull them more apart? Some people think that the phrase leaving their pleasant little town is a reference to the sisters' origin, referring to them leaving Pleasant View. According to their memories, Samantha is the younger of the two twins. She was always the virtuous, gentle, and dutiful twin, like Angela Pleasant. Her personality is shy, playful, and nice. Her bio says, Samantha seems to glitter. She left a high school sweetheart in the pleasant town of her youth, but she believes she can build a better future here in Belladonna Cove. Maybe having new and powerful friends will help shape her future. To me, that sounds very familiar. Could this be the grown-up Angela Pleasant who left Dustin Broke behind, changed her name to Samantha, dyed her hair black, and moved to Belladonna Cove? Or is her story just reminiscent of the Pleasant Sisters. That's ultimately up to the player to interpret, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Samantha's on the verge of having a relationship blossom. She has three male best friends, including Connor Ware, Gabriel Green, and Armand de Bateau. If both Samantha and Gabriel appear in a welcome wagon for another playable household,
old, Samantha will usually flirt with Gabriel and start a romance with him right there. Samantha has a glitch attached to her in which she will always get the memory of marrying a rich Sim, even if she marries the poorest Sim in town. It doesn't matter who she marries, she will always get that rich Sim memory. Some players believe that this means the developers intended for her to marry Armand, who is the wealthiest of her male friends. Samantha works in the medical career as a nurse. She strangely has no interest whatsoever in health. I think this might be due to her caring, nurturing personality type, but that's up to the player to decide. She may be named after Samantha Stevens, a fictional witch from the American sitcom Bewitched. I used to love that show when I was a little kid, even if it was an old-fashioned show back then. I've always been enamored of magic, I guess. Despite being a knowledge sim, Samantha has a lifetime want to have 20 simultaneous best friends. This is typically a lifetime want for popularity sims, and that's because Samantha has a hidden popularity token, which to me could mean that she used to be a popularity sim when she was young, and as she got older, her aspiration changed to knowledge. And that could also follow the storyline of her actually being Angela Pleasant. Samantha has a good relationship with Phoebe Adams, the infallibly good witch, the high good witch of Belladonna Cove. The relationship is so good, in fact, that she can become a witch immediately if the player chooses. And why wouldn't you? The shelves in the sisters' home are filled with witchy things and regents, both good and evil, that they can use for spellcasting. You can find crystallized moonbeams on the desk in Samantha's room, and these are used to cast good spells. In in Kimberly's room, you can find the Viper's Essence, which is used to cast evil spells. Kimberly Cordial, presumably the older of the two twins, is more similar to Lilith Pleasant. She's rebellious, grouchy, and tough, the opposite of her kind, well-behaved sister. The only difference between Kimberly and Lilith is that Kimberly was actually taught her toddler skills, although she did still grow up badly, and she has black hair instead of red. In the family photographs, you can see Kimberly insulting her sister and then getting lectured for being mean to her sister. Also like the Pleasant Twins, Kimberly and Samantha did share a rivalry as children and teens. However, as they grew older, they left their differences behind and became friends. Kimberly is friends with the high evil witch of Belladonna Cove, Frances, and like her sister in The Good Witch, she has a good enough relationship with Frances to become a witch immediately. The developers made it pretty obvious the path they intended the player to take with these sims. They were born to become witches. Despite being a knowledge sim, Kimberly will actually get a bad memory if she becomes an evil witch. This could be because she isn't sure which path is actually right for her. Her bio says she may be green with sibling envy and have a penchant for the darker side of things, but Kim has always been a rebel. She hopes her new friends will give her a way to get what she wants out of life, but once she steps down that path, will it really help her in the ways she hopes? The reference to being green in her bio obviously is a reference to how evil witches turn green. Samantha has the same reference in her bio to glitter, and good witches in The Sims 2 sort of shimmer and glitter in white. Kimberly is employed in the military career, which seems like a strange career for a burgeoning evil witch in my opinion, but the player can always have her quit or get a new career. When I play the sisters, I like to have them quit their mundane jobs and open up a little spellcraft store in Belladonna Cove, selling regents and potions. Like her sister, Kimberly is also a knowledge sim with a hidden popularity token. Both of them will roll popularity-related wants, such as inviting people over and making new friends. And Kimberly has a lifetime wish of becoming mayor, which is also a popularity-related lifetime wish. Now, when you first start playing them, both sisters will have the want to invite someone over. Over, and I take that to mean that they want to invite over their witch friends so they can become a witch right away. Becoming a witch in The Sims 2 requires that you have a high enough friendship with a witch in your neighborhood. Then you can ask them to teach you their ways. 
Samantha here is going to invite Phoebe Adams over to the lot. And if you do this right away, they will always accept. And here's our good witch. She just dropped down from the sky. Now I have some hair default replacements and that's why she's not wearing the hat. But this is what a good witch looks like in The Sims 2 for the most part. If you don't have default replacements, she will be wearing a hat as well. And she glitters and shimmers in white. Now we'll have Samantha come and greet her. Hello. And no, wait, don't go away. Come back. And now we're going to click on her and choose Teach Me the Ways of Light. Then the witch will take out her wands and cast a spell upon your sim. It will then burst into light and become a witch. Thanks for getting in the way, mailman. And now she is actually wearing the hat. I don't know why the other sim isn't wearing the hat, but she now has her witch's hat on. And you'll get several little pop-up messages here. Welcome to the path of light. we all strive to be good and pure. As a gift, we grant you this spell book and cauldron to help you grow and learn. Please use them wisely and with the best intentions. And you will immediately learn a new spell. You can check your spell book to find out more about it. It looks, actually she learned two new spells and she's still undergoing her mystical transformation. So let's watch. It looks like she's doing some magic and boom, we're ready. <laughs> she's now officially a witch. And if we look in her inventory, we now have Samantha Cordial, the nice witch's dangerous cauldron. And Samantha Cordial, the nice witch's grandiose grimoire. So I will go, I usually go and put these up in her bedroom right away so she can start using them. I'm gonna put the cauldron over there and we'll put the grim grimoire right here, I guess. You might have to do a little redecorating in her room. Another thing you could do is sort of make one of these rooms downstairs into a magic room. Come on up here, Samantha, and try out your new cauldron. Let's make some regents. Let's make essence of light. So I just feel like this room does not look like a witch's room at all. So when I play this family, I will usually redecorate both of the girls' rooms and I will make this one look more like a, a good witch's room and make Kimberly's room look more like a an evil witch's room. Right now they just look too normal for magic. And here she's gonna use her cauldron. And like I said, you could like give them a separate magic room downstairs if you wanted to do that. I just like to give them their own space since they're practicing different types of magic, but there's a lot of basically wasted space in this house, in my opinion. This room here, you have to get to it through a secret bookcase which to me makes it seem like it'd be the perfect place to hide all your magical equipment. So maybe you could make one side for Kimberly and one side for Samantha. Another thing that I have done in the past is to put a wall here and then move this piano and put another one of these mysterious shelving doors over here. That way each of the sisters could have their own room. Now this one of course isn't very big. I think I'm gonna move the wall over a little bit. There we go. It just depends on how you like to decorate the house. I find it very fun to decorate this house and make it very eclectic, very witchy looking, um, but you definitely have some options on how you wanna do that. They do have to have space for their cauldrons and their grimoires though. All right, now it's Kimberly's turn. She's gonna call up the evil witch and invite her over. Something to keep in mind, depending on how much drama you like in your game. If the good witch NPC and the bad witch NPC are both on the same lot, they will most of the time and get into a physical fight. So if you don't want that to happen on your lot, you can send away one of the witches first before you call over the other one. But because this video is for entertainment purposes, we're just gonna have them both on the same lot and see what happens. And here is our evil witch, once again, not wearing the evil witch hat. I don't know why the NPCs are not wearing the evil witch hats, I don't know. And why does she have a green face and not have a green body? Oh my God! I should have taken out all, I didn't realize I had my default replacements in this game until I started making this video. So please ignore that. She should have a fully green body. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it, what the hell? I don't wanna record this whole thing over. We're just gonna go with it. I hope that same thing doesn't happen to Kimberly though. Uh, but you can see this is her uh, evil broom and her evil witch dress. 
I am not a huge fan of the green skin, so I usually get a replacement to take that out. Uh, but for some reason, I don't know why it's I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna click on Francis and we're gonna choose Teach Me the Path of Darkness. Garden Club guy, you might want to get the hell out of here. You don't need you don't need to be seeing this. Get out I'm I'm gonna delete you. I'm gonna I'm just gonna delete you. Goodbye. <laughs> You've been annihilated. Okay, we've got a lot of people on this sidewalk. Move along, people. Move along. We're trying to be turned into an evil witch here. Okay, so she's casting. Oh my god. Would you stupid townies get out of the way? I can't see anything that's happening here. Okay, so she cast a spell on Kimberly, and then Kimberly bursts into a flash of green light and becomes an evil witch. You may now walk the path of darkness as a gift. Please accept this spellbook and cauldron. Use them to hone your skills and she immediately learns two spells. This townie just got herself an eyeful. <laughs> you better get out of here before we cast an evil spell on you. Okay, so my sim did not get the green skin because I have modded that out. But if you just have a vanilla game, your sim will have the ugly green skin. At least I think it's ugly personally. I'm sorry if you like it. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. Wow, that townie's just unbothered. Okay, and now we see our uh, evil witch and good witch NPCs are starting to fight. So yeah, that's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, apparently uh, Kimberly will also attack the good witch. It's just gonna be a witch fight out here. <laughs> oh no, now we have roaches. We have roaches on top of this. Oh my God. Looks like the evil witches are winning here. And they're just taking turns like poking and slapping Phoebe. All right, let's 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 get Phoebe out of here. I feel kind of bad about this, y'all. <laughs> I feel kind of guilty. Say goodbye. Say goodbye to everyone. And now we're gonna set up Kimberly's spell area over here. We're gonna put her grimoire here. Let's move these back. All right, there. Now they both have their own room to practice their spellcraft in. As I said, if I was playing this, I would probably decorate these and make them much more witchy <laughs> than they are now. But just, this is just to give you an idea of what I do. What do you do when you play this family if you play them? Uh, let me know down in the comments. Do you create their own separate rooms? Or do you do something in, with this room? Or do you put it in their bedrooms? Let me know. I'm interested to hear what you do. So now both sisters are free to practice their spellcraft as they like. They can start using the regents from their house that they have on the shelves. Okay, we really need to stop ganging up on poor Phoebe. I feel, I feel really bad about this. Now, when the sisters run out of the regents in their house or the ones that they've created, they can buy more directly from the witch NPCs. So they can, they can purchase regents, they can purchase potions, they can purchase a new spell book and cauldron. They can even ask for magical advice. Oh my God, they are actually attacking each other now. I tried, I tried to send them away, I swear. <laughs> so playing a witch in The Sims 2 is a lot of fun, as you can tell, but there is a lot more to being a witch than what I have shown here. This is just the absolute basics. Um, so that will be a video for another day. Today's video is just about the story of the Cordial Sisters and their journey to become the witches of Belladonna Cove. Please send them home. Send them home. Oh my god. Say goodbye. Get them out of here. It can get kind of annoying to have them constantly fighting on your lot. So I usually get rid of them. Goodbye. Thank you. Leave, please. Green face. <laughs> and they'll just get on their brooms and fly away. Uh, one thing I will talk about really quick is the spell book. So you can check your abilities at any time. Uh, and you can see which spells your sim knows. So we can see that Kimberly knows Spiritus Poultria, which makes Sims act like a chicken. Mel Melifera Attackum, which sends bees to attack a Sim. I wish we would have had the regents to do that to those stupid townies. And Corruptus Locus, darkness and dastardly despair, bring forth clouds into the air. Bring the lightning and cockroaches, for now evil doth encroacheth. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch on the rhyming, but okay. And it tells you here in your spellbook 
which regents you need so you can get to work making those. I really love playing this family. The sisters' personalities are at odds, but they always seem to remain close and stay friends whenever I play them. As for the rumors and speculation, I don't really believe the Cordial sisters are the Pleasant Twins. I think they're more based on the story of the Pleasant Twins rather than actually being them. It's the family tree that really convinces me. Their parents are named Daniel and Barbara, and Barbara really looks nothing like Mary Sue. Um, they would have had to change the names of all their ancestors, dyed their hair, and made a lot of other changes for the story to line up. So in my mind, they aren't actually the Pleasant Twins. Oh my god, somebody just went into aspiration failure. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but in my mind, they aren't actually the Pleasant Twins, but maybe a version of what the Pleasant Twins could be if the player chose to take them that way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor, for helping us out here. Um, but again, there's no way to really know what the developers had in mind besides the little hints that they left for us in the bios and memories and photographs. So leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think? What are your theories? Are these the Pleasant Twins? Are they just based on the Pleasant Twins? Or do you have a completely different theory? Let us know in the comments. I would love to hear what you think about this mysterious family. And I would also love to know how you play the twins. Do you go through with the traditional story of making them good and evil witches? And what happens next? Let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And visit my website at PleasantSims.com for gameplay guides, recommended mods lists, and all things Sims. My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you so much for watching and happy spooky month.